Oh, we gonna talk. Everybody up in Rumble was cracking. Hold on. Oh, yes. My boy. Oh man. We're doing all right. See, we're doing all right. Not too bad. It's first stream vibes. Don't worry. As far as I can see, none of memories when they got in me from reality. No require me. I have been. Very quietly died and I need you to remind me why Give me the strength to keep fighting Cause I know we trust anybody I ain't make a no be shout Yo, 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 We're not going to do the long intro today. I want everybody to get up in here, please. All my people, my loyal chat niggas, we have arrived. I am back to streaming officially. I got a lot of announcements to make to you guys. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. By the way, if you guys don't know, we are multi-streaming at this point. We got to let everybody know. That we on Rumble. Salute to all my people who always rock with me on YouTube. And by the way, when Twitch is back, we will be on Twitch as well. We're going to get into the whole details of everything. Um, plus, we're going to address a lot of people who were um, a couple skeptics, a couple haters. But we're going to set shit straight. Not only that, we have a perfectly normal stream today to do. Okay? You know, a lot of people think, or I don't know what they thought this was. You know, if, if you're someone who was watching this to see something because you've never seen the stream, welcome to DJ Academics' stream. If you ever wonder why people stick around and people enjoy me for hours or enjoy the conversation we have for hours, you're going to find out today. Okay? <laughs> Yo, y'all want me to talk about the fight? Nah, this shit was crazy. My first UFC event ever. People want me to talk about the Trump picture. Did Trump curve me at first? How is it meeting Jiddy on? This was a historic time for me. Are we are we gonna watch the Trapalor Ross documentary? I didn't watch it yet. We're gonna watch that Trapalor Ross documentary on um uh on King Von. We're gonna watch it on stream today. We're here. I'm kicking it with y'all today, man. I want y'all guys to get real comfortable, man. You guys gonna lock in with me. We're gonna be here for at least. Four or five hours. I'm saying maybe six. So go take a piss. Go order some food. Come kick it with me. Um, the entire thing will be on Rumble. But we're definitely starting off on all the other platforms that we do stream on. Okay. All right. Let me see what's cracking with y'all. Somebody said Rory got at me. Come on, man. Don't, don't let me start bombing on these niggas already, man. Don't. Somebody said the documentary got deleted. By the way, everything's a work in progress, chat. I'm going to start having the Rumble chat on the screen. Yes, the Rumble chat will be on the screen. By the way, get over to Rumble. You got to make a username. Get your OG username real quick. Feel me? We got to build our own community over there. As opposed to what everybody's thinking. Just like when we were on Twitch and anywhere else, we got our own community rocking. That's just what it is. We got our own community. Somebody said Rory and Millie Ball. Rory, what Rory said about me? Okay. Holy shit, my boy. Okay. Chris 
So this is my man Christian Rumble. He's teaching me how to do Rumble live, bro. You can dock your chat like Twitch by clicking on the dock button in the top right of the chat box. Welcome to Rumble Academics. I appreciate you. Okay. All right. I'm going to figure all this out, people. I'm going to figure out all of this. Jeez, this is great. By the way, I want I, I want to I want to say everybody in here uh just spam a big W to Rumble, man. Rumble, and by the way, um, I want to address a few things, and, and, and let me just wait for some more people to get in here. Let me tweet this out as well, because there was so many people that had really extreme responses. Like, there was a lot of people who were like, great, Rumble, like, now you could do more things. You could say whatever you want, but not everybody was as nice, and, you know, I love to address the haters. That's kind of one of the things I do really well. So we're going to start off, let me just get everybody up in this bitch. We live. <laughs> yeah, I believe, okay, change your username, color, and chat here. Okay, okay, so y'all could do all that. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Chat, this is my very first stream. I'm live today. I'm going to be live tomorrow. You know how we get down with the live stream and we're going to put some hours in. I'm behind on topics like crazy. Somebody sent me 20 topics. It's impossible for us to get through 20 topics. I'm sipping a little bit. I'm having a good old time. Yo, my boy Chris know how I get down. I'm in Miami with him. He already see. Cup in hand. I'm going crazy. It's lit. I'm going to tell you how the whole weekend really went. Very historic weekend. Y'all know they say academics don't be outside, but I was definitely outside. It was my first UFC match. Now, somebody said, where's the emoji at? We need an epic stream. I got y'all. By the way, I got a few people on the hit list that we, we got to handle. Rory and Mealy Mall, Rosen Dweeb, Ebro, a few of them we're going to get to. It, and a couple unknown writers who just, for whatever reason, they usually know not to fuck with the boy, but they wanted to impugn my integrity today. Okay, we'll see. Is he put on a show? Yo, somebody gave me a parlay and I didn't, I, I didn't make it. Got a little hit list, man. Of course, y'all can sub. Y'all can do everything. Come on now. All right, people. All right, let me get into some real quick shit. Just because, um, obviously, the news has been broken. Let me see if I can get this up here now. A little lack of day school and certain shit. How do I get it? Oh. DJ Academics Rumble. Okay. The news has been broken that academics will now be streaming on Rumble, and we're going to talk through all of this. By the way, I'm only here to explain myself to my audience. You guys have been with me through a over 10-year journey live streaming. We really only started live streaming not to make money, not to do anything, but have a connection in the community. That's where our community was born. The chat niggas is something that's really special to me because I have a bigger audience but those people, they come and go. You guys have been with me since day one. And I owe you the respect of giving you the explanation of everything I do when it comes to live streaming. All right? Now, I want to start this story. And I know I'm very long-winded. But I'm gonna, I want to get through and be very direct on everything and talk about everything I need to talk about. Let me put this on Instagram, too. Give me a second. And by the way, y'all can ask y'all questions as well. You know what I mean? We're just going to get straight to it. Okay, here's my link. Here we go. Perfect. All right. Um, so let me answer the obvious questions. The first question I know a lot of you guys have is, yo, Ak, why Rumble? Some of you guys have been in my Twitch community for a really long time. Some of you guys have been following me 
from many different platforms for a really long time. Why Rumble? Okay? First and foremost, I've, I, I've seen some of the people who are making certain type of... I'm trying to think about how to go at this. I'm trying to not blast niggas instantly. In short, why Rumble... Academics was in a very interesting part of his streaming career. And not only did I like Rumble as a platform, I think it's allowed a lot of creators to say what they want to say and do what they want to do in terms of making content. I thought it was a great place to move my audience, right, that could support us. The CEO, I have a direct connection with him. He's going to be supporting our content. And we could build our community here. Not that it's completely cut off from other places, but a place that would support us like how we would support it. You know, I've been I've been a part of many different platforms where, you know, like, shoot, I just got a partner manager the other week on YouTube. Something happens, you get a strike, no one talks to you, no one cares. No, it's like, yo, you're, you're just literally shit beneath their feet. You feel me? When it comes to even Twitch, you know, again, I, I've had a strained relationship with them, but it's gotten better. You know, I, I, I'm not, this is not a bash Twitch stream, okay? And when it comes to even Instagram and other platforms like that. So an opportunity came up that said, hey, listen, you could stream exclusively on our platform. And also, you know, within reason, you could stream on other platforms as well. But you should try to build a community over at Rumble. I believe it was a, 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 a great opportunity that obviously was incentivized, as you could probably already tell. But it gave me an opportunity to be at a platform that was going to be fully in support of what we wanted to build, which is community, give us a fair shake, and also a place we could call home. So that's the reason why I thought about the Rumble deal. Um, I ultimately signed uh, after I realized that it would not only be in our best interest, but be in the best interest of everybody that watches me because it wouldn't isolate all the people that watch me, Okay. You know, again, I want all you guys to somehow make a Rumble account this and third. But I also understand that some of you guys won't necessarily come over quickly. Or some of you guys might just still be on Twitch or still stay on um, YouTube. That's not the point of this. It's not to force you guys, force your hand, not to try to pimp out my audience. I appreciate you guys. And that's, that, that, that's the first and, and utmost thing. Okay. So the next question about why Rumble, and I've seen this like today a lot is a lot of people who have now said, yo, academics is going all right. You know, obviously, when some people think about Rumble, they think about politics. And honestly, I really thought about it as a platform, but I didn't know there were politically charged individuals on the platform. For example, I believe Donald Trump ex exclusively, <laughs> exclusively streams to Rumble, um, Steven Crowder. But I do know Andrew Tate's there as well, right? Now, I'm going to be very honest, and I want to be very, very super honest and transparent. Speaking with the CEO, and by the way, this was a me and the CEO, man-to-man, -man, okay, I'm believing in you, you're believing in me type of thing. He clearly stated to me, hey, listen, people have incorrectly just been labeling us as a political platform. We're much more than that. We want to get into other realms. We want to get into music, gaming, sports. We wanted to get into other things more than politics. It, truth be told, and he might not like me saying it, but he said, Ack, to be honest, I'd rather you stay away from politics. We just want you to do what you do. What do I do? I get on here. I have fun with y'all. We talk shit. We watch videos. We get on Discord. We rant. We rave. We have a good time. This is not this is nothing about politics. And I'm not here also to defend um, or I don't think I have to be here to tell you all what I think the platform stands for. I believe the platform is a platform. They approach me saying they want to move away from. move away from being known for just politics 
into culture and music, and that is what enticed me. Okay? Simply that. They didn't come to me to say, yo, we want you to vote for Trump. Hey. want you to have this ideology. Hey, could you push this type of narrative? They didn't come with none like that. Hey, yo, by the way, we had even other conversations. They said, yo, listen, who's the most popping like artist that you think would be great on Rumble? They don't want those people to come on there to, to be in politics or nothing like that. They want people to come on there and do what they do. Just like how you seen young boy on AMP, He's on there doing what he does. He's not on there pushing the AMP agenda. There's no AMP agenda. It's a platform. And that's just simply what it is. So, you know, I've seen a lot of people today, and I'm going to pull up with some of the some of the list of people who were just kind of, you know, going crazy. And, 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 and let me put some, pull some of these things up. Let me go to Twitter real quick. The first time I seen this, this guy named Phil Lewis. Not too sure who he is, but I've always seen him. It says he's a senior editor for the Huffington Post. Now, I always see him post things. And to be honest, I've even reposted what he said on my Instagram. But I saw that he um, posted like yesterday. Let me see if I could find it. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Probably got to use a search function here. Academics. Let me see. Is it not there yet? Wow, this guy tweets a lot. Fuck. And by the way, chat, I got to get through this before we get to our regular stream. Yes, we got we got mad hip-hop shit to talk about. And no, if you came here thinking I got hot takes on politics, I don't. <laughs> All right? You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of people that probably do that. But that's not me. You know what I mean? I, I, I'll still tell you what I fucking think about a particular person or candidate, but like, I'm not a political pundit. I've never been. Uh, let me see. Wait. Why can't I find... Did this guy delete the tweet? I'm pretty sure I saw it. Let me look it up like this. Phil Lewis. Lewis. Academics. All right. Probably find it right here. Bang! Right here. So he says, New! Academics has signed an exclusive live streaming agreement <laughs> with right-winged video sharing platform Rumble. Now, again, I don't know if that's Rumble's motto. From speaking to the CEO and everybody that I've talked to, they don't have a political agenda. They don't give a fuck if someone gets on their platform and says, yo, vote for Daffy Duck or vote for Donald Duck. They don't give a fuck. But I'm not here to defend Rumble, right? Um, but I see certain people in the black community, and I'm going to say hip-hop community, really, started to make this angle like, yo, academics is on some other shit. You feel me? And, you know, the only reason why I dropped the podcast today off the record, the only reason why I did it is simply because I don't want people to misconstrue me making a platform choice. Like, no one said when I was on Twitch in 2013, yo, Ak is on this platform that leans this way. Nobody says it about me being on Twitter, which, if you look at the Twitter files, may have said it, it leaned that way. So, I don't know why this is a narrative that came with Rumble, but simply put, and the only thing I can say is that I just made a platform choice. By the way, you know, and I, I don't want to call out any other platform. There was other platforms that was trying to sign me as well. I went with the platform that seemed like they were the best fit for me at this time. You know, uh, my, my man Chris was, was very accommodating. And also, you know, he made sure I was comfortable in any of my asks or demands. I think it was very reasonable. And because of that, just like any other businessman, I said, okay, cool. I'm going to sign this deal. That's it. Now, 
what this tweet actually triggered was a lot of other people who have now said that academics is spewing alt-right propaganda. And this was hilarious. This was hilarious. First and foremost, I ain't gonna lie, it didn't help me that I had a, uh, I had a picture. <laughs> this was the, like my last tweet I'm gonna show you. It didn't help me that this was my last tweet. I said, might have to take up Uncle Trump on his offer of being his vice president of 2024. Bro told me no way you'd be worse than Kamala. Now, I'm going to go I'm gonna go back uh, a little and explain that as well. First and foremost, you know, I'm trying to make sure I'm calm. It saddens me that the people who have never supported my content are the biggest critics of it. Let me just say it again. The people who have never supported my content are the biggest critics of it. You know, when small-minded people and people who have always hated you, and you have to realize at a certain point, it doesn't matter what I've done. Y'all have seen this before. Whether it's Shade Room or other things, they're always going to contextualize it in the do I like him or not. I've always told you it's better to be liked than to be right. When... 2013, when I started streaming, and I went on a gaming streaming website, which was Twitch at the time, and I started doing conversational commentaries type of stuff, hip-hop type of stuff. Not one of these motherfuckers who've been hating, and we're going to get to some of the hating in a little bit, ever said, yo, academics is breaking down the doors. He's paving the way. He's being... Um, an innovator. He's showing that this platform could be used for different things. Not one of these motherfuckers said that. They only came around once they hear about a deal about another platform. So they don't give you credit when you're doing it. They don't give you credit when you're building it. They don't acknowledge you when you're doing anything that's helping the culture. By the way, not one of these mother these dick sucking motherfuckers right here. And by the way, there's a lot to go. Let me start with one of the biggest dick sucking motherfuckers of them all. Rosenberg Radio. If you don't know this guy, this is a guy who um This is the guy who's been stuck at Hot 97 for um 10, 20 years. The dude I asked him for a fade after he said that I that that I was ducking him in complex. He said he didn't want it. The dude who was married to some chick who got fucked by some black dude at her at her job. The dude who basically got kicked out of his relationship and basically got kicked out of the crib. This is the nigga who got all the pain on me. I've been telling him he's obsessed with the wrong BBC. Brother, you're obsessed with the wrong black man. Well, your wife was getting piped the fuck out. You wasn't mad at them. Why are you obsessed with me? Brother, you're, wrong. you're obsessed with the wrong.